how you place yourself in the world, what your body means to you as a map. There's so many different windows into the understanding of what mapping is to create a world that you wanted to live within and move around in. My name is Rachel Fallon. My name is Alice Maher and we've come here to make a presentation at the Irish Arts Centre in New York City. We worked as activist artists for the reproductive rights of women in our country. The kind of solidarity and collective experience that that was, working as activists together, um, led to our next project, which was called the Magdalene Series. We realised that Mary Magdalene was something that had been created in order to incarcerate or in enclose women in that way. Mary Magdalene as a historic figure, as a figure of myth and as a Christian saint as well. This idea of this woman penitent and it's the kind of figure, a female figure that had been co-opted to kind of control really the lives of women. And we felt that, that the map was a great structure to place our concept and our research upon. We were really looking to make something that was monumental and yet at the same time had something that people understand and know and mapping is something that we all use in our daily lives. We were looking at what a future world or a feminist world could be like. The map that we kind of made and designed doesn't have any north, south, east or west. You know, you can enter it at any point you wish. So this, in a way, is about the taking of space as well for women and the incarceration of women within spaces. Uh, as the Magdalene Laundries became in Ireland, you know, spaces where women were confined, you know, women who had transgressed. And traditionally maps were made yeah. in cloth. Yeah. You would take your map to your parley and you would lay it out for people to actually understand the battles you had lost and won. So that was very interesting as well, that you could have something that would depict things like the referendum that we had to repeal the Eighth Amendment that we had won. Yeah. But it was also important to actually lay down the things that had happened in the past, be yeah. it the mother and baby homes or the various laws like the, the Act of the Livestock of the Curra Act or the Dance Halls Acts. So we wanted those not to be erased from yeah. the history. We went and made up our own constellations in the sky to memorialise people like those women you know, who had been incarcerated. So it's like memorialising and celebrating in certain ways things that have been hidden or forgotten. It's very big, you may not be able to see the top of it, and there's so many features in it, so many islands and continents and constellations, and the people would come back and, you know, find new things in the map each time they did. And this is a work that's created to be circumnavigated. You approach it from the obverse, which is also a work in itself. So it is a sculptural piece. It's not a large textile wall hanging. Yeah. And that was really, really important, that it's an experience. And we wanted also to make something beautiful, you know, because we were dealing with things that are intrinsically difficult, you know, and hard to remember and hard to bring up from our own history. But you know, to bring a kind of beauty into it and to use beautiful materials and embroidery and brocade and, you know, all those things that allow people to stand with and to be with terrible truths.